how are you all i hope you all are doing well so students in today's video we are going to begin our new chapter that is chapter number 9 perimeter and area okay and perimeter is not a new topic for you you have studied this in your earlier classes also let us revise whatever you have studied about perimeter see one example students suppose such is the figure i am having okay and the measurement of this is 3 cm here it is 5 cm here it is 2 cm here it is 1 cm here again 2 cm here 1 cm okay students this is a figure given to us now you are asked to find its perimeter what perimeter how to find the perimeter of this figure for finding its perimeter we will take all its sides and we will add them together okay students remember this you have studied in your earlier classes na so perimeter here peri means around okay students the meaning of peri is around and meter means measure measuring around something is its perimeter students so what will be its perimeter if we want to find it out 3 plus 5 will give you 6 7 8 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 2 11 11 plus 1 12 12 plus 2 13 14 so students the perimeter of this figure will be 14 centimeter in short i have explained you what uh, the thing which you have uh, already studied in your earlier classes like this only we find perimeter isn't it now students here you will st in this chapter you will st study about area also but its introduction we will see later for now in today's video we are going to cover the following topic students perimeter of square perimeter of rectangle perimeter of triangle again square rectangle triangle these are geometrical shapes you again know it know these shapes very well so first we will discuss uh, properties of these figures and then we will see how to find its perimeter okay students let me rub this now let us talk about perimeter of square first students what do you mean by square square is a four sided figure isn't it square is a four sided closed figure okay here i have drawn one square students what is the property of square that all its four sides are of same measurement they are of equal length suppose this is of 5 cm so that means this will also be of 5 cm this side will also be of 5 cm and here again it will be of 5 cm means all the four sides are of same length isn't it students now if i want to measure the total distance covered by this figure how to find the total distance covered by this figure students again you have to add all its sides and you will get the total distance means you have to find its perimeter so students how to find the perimeter of square 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 means 20 centimeter isn't it side plus side plus side plus side clear students so see here side plus side plus side plus side up side mein koi bhi value likhi ho sakti hai i am just giving you the formula students the trick okay so side plus side plus side plus side now side can be of 5 cm or it can be of 500 cm what you have to do if you want to calculate the perimeter of square take all its four sides and add isn't it students now we can write this formula in short also students how to write see how many times side is coming one two three four four times a side is coming na? so i am writing here four okay students then we know that all the four sides which are written are equal means same measurement only so what i can do i can take only one side here one side was five centimeter na? so see what i have done i have written side one time i have written the measurement of side only one time that is five centimeter and now i am multiplying it with four so students four fives are how much 20 centimeters isn't it jab humne plus kiya tha side plus side plus side plus side jab, when we have added five four times then also we got 20 centimeter and now when i have taken the side only one time and i have and i have multiplied it four again i got 20 centimeter the thing which i want to explain is students as a square has all the four sides of same measurement so instead of writing and adding the sides for the four sides what you can do you can use this small formula learn the formula 
फोर इंटू साइड वॉट फोर इंटू साइड सो वॉट वॉट इज फोर इंटू साइड फोर इंटू साइड विल बी द पेरीमीटर ऑफ स्क्वायर स्टूडेंट्स ओके देन वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन टेक वन साइड ऑफ द स्क्वायर एंड मल्टीप्लाई इट विथ फोर यू विल गेट इट्स पेरीमीटर सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ पेरीमीटर ऑफ स्क्वायर इन दिस मैनर वी फाइंड द पेरीमीटर ऑफ स्क्वायर सो आई एम राइटिंग इट्स फॉर्मूला इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट द फॉर्मूला इज पेरीमीटर ऑफ स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू फोर इन टू साइड यू डोंट हैव टू बाय हार्ट द फॉर्मूला अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न ओके नेवर बाय हार्ट ओके अंडरस्टैंड द फॉर्मूला वाई द फॉर्मूला इज फॉर्म्ड एंड देन ऑटोमेटिकली यू विल बी एबल टू लर्न इट सो द पेरीमीटर ऑफ स्क्वायर गिव्स अस फोर इन टू साइड ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट पेरीमीटर ऑफ रेक्टेंगल पहले हम रेक्टेंगल के बारे में डिस्कस करते हैं वॉट इज रेक्टेंगल अगेन रेक्टेंगल इज अ फोर साइडेड क्लोज फिगर वेयर द अपोजिट साइड आर ऑफ सेम लेंथ दिस इक्वल्स टू दिस एंड दिस इक्वल्स टू दिस इज इंट इट स्टूडेंट्स सपोज दिस इज ऑफ सिक्स सेंटीमीटर अपोजिट साइज आर इक्वल हियर सो दिस अगेन विल बी ऑफ सिक्स सेंटीमीटर इज इंट इट एंड नाउ दी दिस टू साइज आर ऑफ फोर सेंटीमीटर्स सो दिस ऑल्सो विल बी ऑफ फोर सेंटीमीटर्स दिस इज माई रेक्टेंगल स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस रेक्टेंगल एंड वी नो दैट इफ वी आर आज अबाउट पेरीमीटर दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू एड द boundaries of the figure so again if you want to find the perimeter of this figure you have to add all the four sides how to add students okay one more thing about rectangle this is known as length okay these are the lengths and this one is the breadth okay we know na that um, a rectangle has length and breadth okay so what i have to do students here first i'll take length length is how much 6 cm then i'll add it with breadth breadth is how much 4 cm again this one is the length so again i'll take 6 cm and again i'll take the breadth which is 4 cm isn't it students so let us add 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 4 16 16 plus 4 20. So uh, we got the perimeter of rectangle as 20 centimeter, isn't it, students? Now again, we will use shortcut. Okay, we will use one short formula. No need of uh, adding again four times. Okay, four uh, numbers, uh, four times. Simply we can use a small formula to get the perimeter of rectangle. How that formula is formed? You look here. How many times you have you are adding the length? Same length we are adding how many times? Two times. So I am writing here two. Okay, students. Then इन टू ओनली वन टाइम आई टेक लेंथ हमने पेरीमीटर ऑफ स्क्वायर के टाइम पर किया था ना वी आर वी वर एडिंग सेम साइड फोर टाइम्स सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वॉट वी हैव टेक वॉट वी हैव डन वी हैव टेकन द साइड वन टाइम एंड वी हैव मल्टीप्लाइड इट विथ फोर इन द सेम मैनर हियर लेंथ आई एम आई हैव टू एड टू टाइम्स सो इंस्टेड ऑफ एडिंग इट टू टाइम्स वॉट आई एम डूइंग आई एम टेकिंग लेंथ ओनली वन टाइम एंड आई वी मल्टीप्लाइंग इट इट विथ टू सेम फॉर ब्रेथ ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट्स वाई because we know that breadth again we have to add two times so here is our formula students perimeter of rectangle is equals to 2 into length plus breadth okay and let us uh, get the answer get the perimeter using this formula also students so 2 into l plus breadth uh, 2 into length plus breadth na 2 into how much is the length ye wali length hoti hai so how much is the length 6 cm isn't it how much is the breadth this one is the breadth which is 4 cm like this will write students don't start multiplying first what you are going to do first add 6 plus 4 10 cm so 2 into 10 how much students 20 cm see we got the same answer jab humne add kiya to bhi 20 cm and when we have used the formula then also we got 20 cm so in this manner we have found the perimeter of rectangle and again the formula to calculate the perimeter of rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth. Okay, students, I'll write the formula. You also have to note it down. 2 into in bracket length plus breadth. Okay. Now, in short, you can write it as 2 into l plus b. Clear, students? Now perimeter of triangle. How to find the perimeter of triangle? Again, we'll understand taking the help of triangle only. Suppose this is of three centimeters, this is of four centimeters, and this is of five centimeters. If you want to calculate its perimeter, what you will do, students? You will add all the three sides of the triangle. Three plus four plus five. 
सो थ्री प्लस फोर विल गिव अस फाइव सिक्स सेवन सेवन प्लस फाइव एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व सो ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर विल बी द पेरीमीटर ऑफ ट्राइंगल एंड स्टूडेंट्स आई एम नेमिंग द साइड्स हेयर सपोज दिस इज ए दिस साइड इज बी एंड दिस वन इज सी सो पेरीमीटर ऑफ ट्राइंगल फॉर्मूला इज एड ऑल द थ्री साइड्स दिस इज ओनली द फॉर्मूला ए प्लस बी प्लस सी बिकॉज यूर ऑल द थ्री साइड्स आर डिफरेंट ना दिस इज अ स्केलिंग ट्राइंगल यू अंडरस्टैंड ना वट इज स्केलिंग ट्राइंगल स्केलिंग ट्राइंगल इज सच अ ट्राइंगल वेयर ऑल द थ्री साइड्स आर ऑफ डिफरेंट मेजरमेंट्स सो हियर वी विल टेक ऑल द थ्री साइड्स एंड वी विल एड दैम बट स्टूडेंट्स इन केस द ट्राइंगल इज एन इक्विलेटरल ट्राइंगल ना वॉट डू मीन बाई इक्विलेटर ट्राइंगल इक्विलेटरल ट्राइंगल इज सच अ ट्राइंगल वेयर ऑल द थ्री साइड्स आर ऑफ सेम लेंथ इफ सच इज द कंडीशन देन वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन अगेन टेक वन ऑफ द साइड एंड यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई इट विथ थ्री बट फॉर नॉट दिस मच इन्फॉर्मेशन इज इनफ फॉर यू सो यू हैव टू बाय हार्ट दीज फॉर्मूलाज वेरी प्रॉपरली देन ओनली बाय हार्ट मीन्स अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न रटना नहीं है यू शुड नो हाउ द फॉर्मूला इज फॉर्म एंड देन इट विल बी वेरी इजियर टू लर्न द फॉर्मूला एंड देन यू कैन सॉल्व द एक्सरसाइज ओके स्टूडेंट्स राइट इट डाउन इट यू दिस इन योर नोटबुक एंड देन विल कंटिन्यू So students in your textbook chapter number नाइन perimeter and area we'll see in page number 146 let's recall okay so let's recall means just the revision so this revision you are going to do by yourself I'll be explaining you the exercise this revision is your work you are going to do by yourself 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 you are going to do by
okay the perimeter of given rectangle next point again now simply i am writing the formula okay without uh, showing perimeter of rectangle but it's your work you have to write it write the formula in full okay 2 into l plus b now 2 into 32 centimeters plus 15 centimeters clear na then 2 into let us add 2 plus 5 7, 3 plus 1, 4, 47, uh, 47 centimeters, 30, 40, 47, yeah. Then let's multiply 2 7s are 14, 1 carry over, 2 4s are 8, 9, 94 centimeters is my answer, students. Note it down and then we'll see the next question. Note it down. Huh? Then I'll explain you one more question. Okay. I am explaining you F point students, F point uh, decimal values are given. So length is equals to 6.5 centimeter and breadth is equals to 3.5 centimeter. Okay. Again I will write the formula 2 into length plus breadth. So 2 into 6.5 centimeters plus 3.5 centimeters we have studied decimal chapter now so you know how to add the decimal numbers so before adding you have to make them as like decimals here i can see after point tenth place is given again after point only tenth place is given means they are already like decimals so simply we can add 5 plus 5 10 then point 1 carry over 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 3 10 10.0 centimeters students so 10.0 means you can write it as 10 only 10 also so simply 2 into 10 how much students 20 centimeter or 20.0 centimeter it will not make any difference so like this we have found the perimeter of rectangle students now point number c e and point number d will be your work you are going to solve it and then at the back of the textbook answers are given you can match your answers still any confusion then you can ask me so that's all for today students thank you